doing this job, the main problem was lack of identity response on patients, which was very, very common in this trust as a team. We're so frustrated by it because it happened all the time. This is Laurie. Hello. They can't go to theatre, they can't have x-rays, they can't be given medication. So it was just compromising their safety constantly. I felt very frustrated because I really feel that we all should have the same human rights, we all should have the same opportunity, no matter what illness or what disability a person has. So I couldn't understand why the clients didn't have a bank account. Yeah. That's a nice size, isn't it? So one in five people who were coming into this hospital got some degree of an acute problem with their kidneys. They didn't come in with an acute kidney problem, they had pneumonia or they needed an operation or they had a heart attack or a stroke but one in five, more or less, ended up with a problem with their kidneys. First time I heard of it was one of our senior managers in the corridor said to me, David, you've heard of SQE, Safety, Quality and Experience Programme, but I didn't really know much about it. Communication, I think, is the main thing that we struggle with uh, working with kids. So the child's statutory review meeting takes place at least once every six months. So how do we actually get children's views to be part of that meeting meaningfully? And as an SQ project team, we sat down and we thought, right, this is an issue. A colleague said, mind if my own app has just been released. It's essentially an app that allows a young person or a child to communicate their views directly. We all got our phones out, downloaded it and gave it a go. And we thought this looks intuitively. Uh, the children would love to use this, so let's try it. My care plan. You want to talk about your care plan, the future, yeah? Yeah. And you want to talk about? Relationships. <laughs> Dr Leonard said, Jennifer, I've got this great thing and you have to be involved and we're going to do something on prescription of drugs. And I thought, prescription of drugs? Really? Are we going to do that? Um, and I thought, well, no, no, no. We're kidney doctors. We must be able to do something kidney related because that's what we do. Jennifer's laughing because the <laughs> truth, which you knew really want to hear, I was very cynical. I thought, how are you going to change? How are you going to improve kidney failure, which is complex? Uh, by something simple. Do you remember Jennifer McCahan? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, are you well? I was away in the States at this conference. I thought people fly airplanes, they have checklists. And they have a checklist for the doors shutting, the checklist for the engines working. Then that's why it's so safe. So I thought there must be something simple that we could do for acute kidney injury. So whenever I came back, I said, Dr. Leonard, I had an idea. Uh, we're going to have a checklist and it's going to be an A, B, C, D, E. And it's going to be really straightforward. Address the medication. B was for boost the blood pressure. C is to calculate the fluid balance. At D for dipstick the urine. And the last one, exclude obstruction. Easy as that. No. We tried a new response on one ward and that seemed to work. So then we sort of rolled it out to a whole directorate because it worked so well and we could just see our numbers coming down. The SQ programme definitely has taught you how to approach the, the problem. Getting a bank appointment was tough. We didn't realise that we had to start at the complete basics, getting a form of identification. We trialled it out with only one tenant, and then once we knew that that method worked, we implemented it for other tenants. SQ really helps you progress on. OK. Brilliant. I'm out of here. wasn't too painful. Children were they're saying it's easy to use, they're saying they prefer it over the old tools. Um, and I think that's what it's about. It's about ensuring the children's voice is heard. It creates a safer service, a uh, better quality service for children. Hey! <laughs> because of our project, recognition that somebody had uh, kidney failure on the ward rose from the baseline value, which was, was about 30%. Yeah, really not very good yeah. at all. Uh, recognition up to 100% and doing something about it. We got that, I think our target was about 80% uh, and we got it above 80%. And that was for every step, every time. Now with this new system in place, Maggie has flourished. She has now got her own bank account, which she didn't have before. Her social inclusion within the community has improved massively. So she feels that she has her own identity now. She feels like a part of the community and she feels valued and has a role within that community. Initially, our aim was to reduce the incidence by 50%, but it's like we're talking 
95, 98%. Very rare on a day you would go around and a patient would never respond. It just makes life so much easier, even just from a patient safety point of view. We definitely couldn't have done it without the programme, absolutely not. And without the support of my manager and you know, even right up to the chief executive. I mean, everybody has sort of bought into this programme. Yeah, I do think it was a light bulb moment. We wouldn't have sat together unless it was for the SG programme, putting together the project team. Everywhere you go now in the hospital, somebody's working on a little project or a big project. It's almost like the culture of the hospital now. With the SQE programme, anything really is possible. Absolutely, go for it. I think everyone has good ideas. Go for it. It's hilarious. If you put A, B, C, D, E into Google, for example. I think we're the first. I think you have to put a cute kidney injury too. Oh yeah, yeah, you've got to put a cute kidney injury, A, B, C, D, E. Our project will come up. I think it's the first one listed. I've never done that, <laughs> just for the record. <laughs>